Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today we will start a new chapter which is chapter 9, Simple Harmony Motion. Exercise number 1. The expressions of the displacement x of an object undergo a linear SHM is given by x equals to 3.5 sin 8 pi t plus 0 0.25 pi. Okay, so where x and t are measured in cm and also in second respectively. Okay, determine the amplitude. So if you compare with the equations where uh, as a general x equals to a sine omega t plus phi, meaning that our amplitude a is actually 3.5 cm and we want to find the period where we know that omega is equal to 8 pi and omega equals to 2 pi over t so therefore our period is equal to 2 pi over pi period that we will get is equal to 0 0.25 second next frequency period equals to 1 over f so f will equal to 1 over period or 1 over 0 0.25 so therefore we will get 4 hertz b find the phase angle when t equals to 0 0.02 so we know that the phase angle here we are referring to this one 8 pi t plus 0 0.25 pi okay so we substitute our phase angle is 2 pi t plus 0 0.25 pi so we substitute t equals to 0 0.02 okay so 8 pi 0 0.02 plus 0 0.25 pi okay so if we press calculator we will get 0 0.41 pi in radian okay so this is our phase angle c find the displacement displacement here we are referring to the x at the instance mentioned above so from the equation x equals to 3.5 sine 8 pi t so we substitute t equals to 0 0.02 okay plus 0 0.25 pi okay so if you press calculator we will get 3.4 cm so remember the value here is in radian okay so remember you must change it become radian eh? in the mode you must change mode calculator mode in radian okay because this one is no longer in degree so remember to change calculator in radian okay mode change to radian question number two why is the equation describing the motions of the mass on the end of the vertical spring which is stretch 8.8 .8 cm from the equilibrium position and then we release from rest Okay, and the period is 0 0.66 second. So what will be its displacement after 1.8 second? Okay, so meaning that this is the vertical spring where it is stressed downward. Okay, so for one complete cycle, it will from amplitude here, it will go up to the equilibrium position. And then it will go up to the uh, positive amplitude. After that, it will go down to equilibrium position. And finally, it will go back to its original position. In the graph given, generally, we can write x equals to negative a cos omega t. Okay, so we substitute all the information that we have where the spring is stretched 8.8 .8 cm. So this is actually the amplitude because it's the maximum displacement it can go. And the period is equal to 0 0.66 second. Okay, so we substitute the amplitude is equal to 8.8 .8 cm and uh, cos omega omega we know that is equals to 2 pi over t where t is equals to 0 0.66 so equations that we get is equals to negative 8.8 .8 cos 3.03 pi t okay so this is the equations that we get okay why the equation is different with the equations given because we write it in negative cos Okay, if you write it in sine, meaning that initially, if you want to change negative cos into sine, if you want to write sine equation, meaning that our graph we should start from here. Okay, but initially, the questions give us our graph is start from the negative amplitude. Okay, so meaning that our y exit, okay, the y exit, we must shift to the left. Okay, when we shift to the left, our equation become 
x equals to a sine omega t so if you shift to the left meaning that the phase difference here the phase difference here between the sine graph and our graph okay is equal to you must minus huh? you must minus with pi over 2 okay or if you don't want to write in sine you also can write in x equals to negative a cos omega t also can okay so both also acceptable so if let's say you want to change it into sine you also can write it as x equals to a sine omega is 2 pi over 0 0.66 t minus pi over 2 okay so equations that we will get is equals to 8.8 .8 sine 3.03 pi t minus pi over 2 okay so both also acceptable Okay, next one we want to find what is its displacement when uh, t equals to 1.8 seconds so we substitute into either either cos or sine okay so if let's say i substitute into negative cos equation x will equal to negative 8.8 .8 cos 3.03 pi n times 1.8 okay so finally, we will get 2.72 because 8.8 .8 in cm. So our answer also in cm. Okay. Question number three. A particle undergoes simple harmonic motions along a straight line, completing 20 cycles in, in 2 seconds. Okay. So actually, this is the information of omega where omega equals to 20 cycles. So it's times 2 pi in 2 seconds. Okay, so 2 and 2 we can cancel off. The omega that we get is equal to 20 pi radian per second. And the amplitude of the motion is in 3 cm. So amplitude A here is equal to 3 cm. Okay, so here when t equals to 0, the particle is at equilibrium position, uh, meaning that x is equal to A sine omega t because it start from equilibrium position displacement to the right of o is considered to be positive so a write down an expression representing the displacement of the particle okay so we know okay, because it start from equilibrium so we will get a sine graph so we substitute into the equation a is 3 cm omega is equal to 20 pi t okay so this is the equations for the displacement B, determine the displacement of the particle from O when T equals to 1 over 6. So we substitute into the equation when T equals to 1 over 16. So we substitute 3 sine 20 pi T. Yeah, where T, we substitute 1 over 16. Okay, and remember, all this value, you must change it into a radian mode. Okay, because this is not a degree, so you must convert change the mode calculator mode into radian okay so after that if you press calculator we will get negative 2.1 cm uh, because here 3 is still in cm okay next we continue with c determine the time when the particle x is equals to positive 1.5 cm so we substitute x equals to a sine 20 pi t where x equals to 1.5 a is 3 so both is cm and this one also cm so later we will cancel off okay sine 20 pi t 1.5 over 3 equals to sine 20 pi t at sine 1.5 over 3 so we will get at sine 0 0.5 equals to 20 pi times t Okay, so finally t that we will get is equal to 8.33 times 10 to the power of negative 3 in second. Okay, next we go to questions number 4. Where questions number 4, they give you a graph f versus the displacement. A variable force f acting on an object of the mass. Okay, so they give you the mass 0.15 cause the object undergo linear simple harmonic motion. Figure shows how the force vary with the displacement of the object for each cycle of the oscillation determine the amplitude and also we want to find the frequency so what is the relationship here is we know that f equals to ma and we also know that a just now a equals to negative omega square x so we substitute 
negative omega square times x. When f equals to 3, when f equals to 3, our displacement is equal to negative 0 0.2. So we substitute into the equation 3 equals to m 0 0.15 omega, we don't know. x is equal to negative 0 0.2. Okay, so 3 over 0 0.15 negative negative become positive eh? 0 0.2 omega squared so finally omega that we will get is equal to third 100 or is equal to 10 okay but we want to find the frequency eh? the frequency so the frequency is equal to 2 pi f equal to 10 so therefore, frequency is equal to 10 over 2 pi. Frequency that we will get here is equal to 1.6 hertz. Next, we go to amplitude. So if you refer here for x exit, here we have negative 0 0.2 and on your right hand side, we have 0 0.02. Uh, to find the amplitude, amplitude is equal to the maximum displacement. So the amplitude equals to x maximum. So therefore, we will take 0 0.2 because 0 0.2 is greater than 0 0.02. Okay, so we will take 0 0.2 meter because here the unit in meter. Okay, so that's all for today. Thank you class. See you on next video. Bye.